Hi, it's Sarah from sarahranawaywithaspoon.com. I teach online baking classes for teens and adults who want to have a home baking experience. Last time I did a Facebook Live, I talked about my favorite kitchen tool for slicing and peeling apples. I called it my apple slicey peely coring tool and it was an old fashioned cranking tool that I put the apple on, spun it around and it peeled it and sliced it. And then I got some feedback from folks and they said, hey Sarah, what do I do if I don't have your fancy apple peely cory slicing thing? And I thought, well, that's a great question. So. I'm here back again today to talk about apples and peeling apples and coring apples and I'm going to give you some tips with tools that you probably do have in your kitchen. I tend to be someone who has a lot of kitchen gadgets. That's because I do a ton of baking. But if you don't have a ton of kitchen gadgets, you do probably have the ones I'll be using today. If not, you definitely have a knife. So you can always use a knife. But let's start with the vegetable peeler. And the vegetable peeler, I'm going to show you a quick and easy way on how to peel your apple. The first thing you're going to do is make a circle with the vegetable peeler around the top. And you can get that as close as you want to the stem. And there you go, that's the top. And then I'm going to peel the bottom in the same way. Just like I did with my apple peely coring slicing tool, if the recipe calls for apple peel, just push those to the side. Some applesauce recipes that I have call for apple, um, the apple peel to go in. And then the next step is just to slice these up and down until the two spaces that you've made connect. So they go up and down, super quick super easy and you can peel it as close to perfectly as you'd like or you can leave a little peel on there if you're just going to eat it it's not a big deal I'm doing this pretty carefully just to get it all off and one more strip and there you go, my apple is peeled. Then I can cut my apple into, this is a, I don't know exactly what kind of apple, but it's green in color. So I got it from a local farm. I'm not sure if it's exactly like a Granny Smith apple. I don't think it is, but it's a little firmer. So this, this approach will work, definitely work with a firmer apple. Just if, you have kids that are doing this, you need to do some supervision and explain to them that these next step can be very um, sharp. So we need to have some adult supervision for the next step. This is a cheese box cutter and on the side you'll see there's some slicing lines. And I'm just going to take a quarter of the apple that I've cored and run it down. run it down and you'll see it gets pretty narrow there so you can't do a ton of them but if you you wanted to get some really thin slices that will work you have to go slowly and have to be careful it is kind of sharp another option would just be to take your knife and make really fine slices you can always use your knife. It's not quite as fine. I'm not sure if you can see the difference there, but it's pretty close. And it will work in many recipes. Uh, apple pies, uh, for sure, in an apple pie. Some recipes may call for a mandolin. Again, that's a really, really thin slice. So you might want to try this method if your recipe that you're using calls for something like a mandolin. So again, I just cut it and I pour it in it. And then I take a flat side and run it down. And I 
as I go, I just peel my fingers back. And I have some peeled apples. It doesn't, because of the way you have to hold your fingers, it doesn't give you the whole bit of apple, but then you can cut some of that last little bit up with your fingers, and with your knife, not with your fingers. I don't think that would cut through an apple very well. So yeah, you wanna cut that with a knife. So my knife, my peeler, I said that backwards. My peeler, my knife, and my cheese cutter can help you slice apples very thin and you don't need a fancy tool. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and you get a chance to check out my website at sarahranawaywithaspoon.com. And when you're there, you can download my free guide, Ready, Set, Bake. Have a great week. I'll see you next week. Take care. Have fun. Hope you do some apple baking. Bye-bye.